Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. As expected, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex released their Christmas card Wednesday, featuring an illustrated version of a photo of them gathered in front of a children's playhouse, in the backyard of their Santa Barbara County estate, flanked by a small Christmas tree and a red poinsettia. All three are dressed casually, in jeans or leggings and button-down shirts and pullovers. Megan is wearing knee-high boots. Archie, who turned one, in May appears to have a full head of ginger brown hair. Harry is holding Archie between his knees and grinning happily. They've released this gorgeous Christmas card today. We love it, and we're so happy they chose to release one. It's on their terms, and we love them for it. The Sussex's spokesperson, the original photo of the family was taken at their home earlier this month, by the Duchess's mother. The small Christmas tree, including the homemade ornaments and other decorations, were selected by Archie, and the tree will be replanted after the holidays. This year it's Meghan's patronage, the Mayhew who has released their annual Christmas card. Last year it was the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, the Duke, President, and Duchess, Vice President. In the card, the Duke and Duchess said that they have made a personal donation to organizations including the Mayhew, and which will support our vital work to help dogs, cats, and communities. It says, this year we, as a family, have made donations to several charities with you in mind. From a local California organization that helps families transition out of homelessness, to two of our UK patronages, one that supports animal and community welfare, and the other, a memorial fund for a cherished friend that helps to educate children and fight poverty in Uganda, we have honored their work on behalf of all of us. Love this. It truly is a family photo, even the dogs got to be a part. Mama Doria also did a wonderful job as photographer. It's such a personal and beautiful Christmas card. Another analysis. The Sussexes have announced a partnership with World Central Kitchen and with Jose Andres, the founder. It is a nonprofit devoted to providing meals in the wake of natural disasters. They are helping to fund the creation of for new relief service centers. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are backing a series of community relief centers for World Central Kitchen. The structures will be permanent, built to act as quickly activated service kitchens during emergencies like natural disasters, with the ability to transition to community centers, schools, and clinics. The team sees the integrated approach as a way to promote more resilient local food systems. Though the first of the four centers is being built on the Caribbean island of Dominica, which was hard hit by Hurricanes Maria and Irma in 2017. It's slated to open in early 2021. The second will be set in Puerto Rico, the other two locations have not been announced. The Sussex's statement, the health of our communities depends on our ability to connect to our shared humanity. When we think about Chef Andres and his incredible team at World Central Kitchen, we're reminded that even during a year of unimaginable hardship, there are so many amazing people willing and working tirelessly to support each other. World Central Kitchen inspires us through compassion, in action. Here's a throwback to Megan supporting people with similar background stories to those the World Central Kitchen help. Showed up, and you were you all had it in you. And what was so great is you look back at that first day, and then however many visits later, and going, yeah, we're just going to make a cookbook, not realizing, knowing, and having a lot of faith in what you guys could bring to, to the A total of 72 people lost their lives when flames tore through a 21-story flat block in the early hours of June 14, 2017, fueled by flammable cladding that lined the Grenfell Tower. Still no prosecutions and people are still in danger in similar environments. The survivors include the women of the Hub Community Kitchen. Megan has worked with these women since January 2018 and she has continued to support them since. The Duchess came up with the idea of the Cook for Hub Community Kitchen in order to raise funds. The Together Cookbook launched in September 2018, just three months after the wedding, which raised more than $715,000 for the Hub Community Kitchen after selling 130,000 copies. It also made the New York Times bestseller list and won an award. The cookbook, featuring 50 recipes from the women and forward from Megan, aimed to raise $325,000 but accounts from the Royal Foundation showed the target was smashed. Another report. The unusual encounter Margot Robbie had with Prince Harry. Some unlikely friendships have come from the small circle of celebrities in Hollywood. 
But what happens when Hollywood crosses over with the royal family? In at least one case, it can make for a very strange first meetup. Margot Robbie's friendship over the years with Prince Harry is largely thanks to her Suicide Squad co-star Cara Delevingne, who was previously friends with the prince. The actress first met the Duke of Sussex at a party with mutual friends before eventually developing a texting-level friendship, Robbie revealed. He's pretty quick on text actually. Unlike me, I write back for days later, weeks later sometimes. The bombshell actress admitted to LMT Channel. Because of her unlikely friendship with Prince Harry, her friends think she's their ticket to meeting the royal family. The actress said, Everyone now thinks if they come on a night out with me, in London they'll bump into Prince Harry. Although hanging out with Robbie may not be the way to bump into a prince, it did happen to her in a pretty unusual way. Keep watching to learn all the details. Margot Robbie thought Prince Harry was Ed Sheeran. In an appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, Actress Margot Robbie revealed to fans just how she met the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry. She had gone into a photo booth with him and a few other friends at Suki Waterhouse's party and made small talk with Harry without realizing who he was. Robbie joked, He's not wearing a crown. Fallon showed the photo they took together, featuring Robbie with her tongue out and Harry in a hat and glasses. Robbie explained about a night at Suki Waterhouse's party. Actually, when I saw him in those glasses, I was like, Oh my god, I didn't know Ed Sheeran was at the party. And he was really offended. He was like, Shut up. Robbie further revealed in Love magazine, she just thought it was a guy named Harry and thought, What a nice guy. Clearly, there were no hard feelings for the confusion, given Robbie and Prince Harry's lasting friendship. Robbie got to live out a fairy tale for a few hours when she discovered the nice guy at the party was really a prince. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not let you wait any longer. Let's start the story. The truth about Tom Hardy's friendship with Prince Harry. Actor Tom Hardy and Prince Harry are close friends. The Venom actor is exceptionally loyal to the Duke of Sussex. In an interview, in 2018, Hardy told that his friendship with Harry is deeply private. Everyone needs a friend who talks about them like Hardy talks about, his royal buddy. Hardy is considered a close friend of the royal and has been for several years. They became friends after the actor got involved in the Prince's Trust in 2010. Hardy became an ambassador for the charity which helps young people in the British Empire. It seems the Mad Max star has made nice with other members of the royal family as well. Hardy, Prince Harry, and Prince William made a cameo in one of the recent Star Wars films. The movie's part featuring the actor and the royal brothers ended up being deleted in the Star Wars film. But what a blast. Keep watching to find out more about Hardy and Harry's friendship. Tom Hardy and Prince Harry are both legends in UK. A 2018 Esquire magazine feature on Tom Hardy explained the actor's fame. In the UK as such, Hardy may be an accomplished actor in the US, but in his home country he's a national treasure. In June, he was awarded the title Commander of the Order of the British Empire, which, while not as prestigious as knighthood, is on the same scale. UK resident Hardy was shooting a film in New Orleans on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding day. The British star told LMT Channel, that he flew from New Orleans to go to his friend's ceremony. Hardy and his wife Charlotte Riley attended the wedding and party for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Remember the good old days before Mexit? Hardy's post on Harry and Meghan's wedding day was so sweet. Hardy's post was a photo of the newlyweds with a message, boss. The actor included a bunch of amoyas, including a unicorn, eagle, and heart. The friendship between the prince and the actor appears strong, even though both friends are busy men. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.